Hey everybody, my name is Vanessa Wise and I'd like to have you join me in my journey on learning how to do fluid acrylic painting. Welcome back everybody. Um, today we're going to do... Last time we did a fire inspired painting. Today we're going to do a water inspired painting. And I'm going to try doing a tree ring, like a wandering tree ring. It's going to spiral down along the painting and then we'll tip it so it kind of makes stripes. Alright, um, I made up some more colors. I've got silver, turquoise, and this green which I'm not sure. I think I'll put a little bit in. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Um, then of course we've got aqua and blue and then white. Alright, let's get started. I think I'm going to start with the aqua. We have the lighter colors come out at the end. Silver. I hope the consistencies are okay on these. I just kind of guessed, winged it. We'll see. Yeah, why not? We'll put a little bit of this in there. Let's see what happens. It's a little bright. Might not like it. to pour these in the same spot so that they kind of layer on top of each other. Finish this up. Little bit of black left from my last painting. Just for some contrast, I guess. And we're gonna stop there. Alright. I'm gonna try and pour it from sort of where I put them in. Here we go.
Pour some blue. Miss turquoise. Alright. Well, it turns out my mother called during that video and it shut off so you couldn't actually see me do it. But this is what I came up with and I really love it. It's settling right now. Um, we'll see if anything else changes in half an hour. But I doubt it. I had to add the blue round. I left some of that, um, some of the aqua kind of mixed in there. And this uh, neon green that I wasn't really sure about really was a good addition. Alright, so we're going to let it sit for a little bit and we'll come back and see the final. Here we are back to go in for the close up. I still really love this. This part right here reminds me of like an abalone shell or bubbles in water. You can see right here where I added that extra bit of aqua. It did actually come through into the main design. And this is where the silver peps in. And this little bit of green that I wasn't really Sure, I wanted to do. I'm really glad I did. Really gives a nice contrast to all the blues. And there's some more blue on the ends that I had added after I poured it. I don't really know what happened right here. I think it got too thin, it stretched out too thin, and it broke. Either way, I don't care. I love it. So thanks for watching everybody, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.